You may have heard your parents or your grandparents talk about people they knew while growing up in Marquette. One of the names they might have mentioned would have been that of Roger Keast. Roger Keast was born in Crystal Falls and was a natural athlete. He was a football and basketball player at Michigan State, and he was even an alternate for the 1932 Olympic track team in Los Angeles. After getting married and starting a family, Keast was given the job of coach at Graver at High School. Back then, they didn't have separate coaches for football or basketball. They had a coach, as in one coach for everything. Keast took some rather bad sports teams and molded them into winners, even into UP champions. And that success made Keast realize that Marquette was in need of a new football field. The team had been practicing on Longyear Field, which was on the old flat ground across the street from what is now the Maritime Museum in front of where the old Longyear Mansion sat. Because he was the coach, Keast was on a committee to help develop a new field that would sit right next to the palestra. He helped draw up the plans for the stadium, and he was quite excited by the process prospect of having his kids play there. Then Pearl Harbor happened. Keast, who had previously been in the military, was drafted back into action and was sent to New Guinea as an army captain. While he was over there, he would keep showing everyone the plans that he had drawn up for Marquette's new football stadium. He was really excited about it. Unfortunately, he never had the chance to see those plans come to fruition. By all accounts, he was as great a leader on the battlefield as he was in school. He was leading a company trying to take a hill near Buna, New Guinea when he was shot. Despite the wound, he kept exhorting his men to capture the hill, which they eventually did. Unfortunately, he died of his wounds the next day. After the war was over, there was talk of naming the football field that Roger Keast helped design Keast Field. But in the end, it was felt that maybe the field should honor the 100 or so men and women from Marquette who died in the war. And that's how Marquette's new football field, partially designed by Roger Keast, came to be called Memorial Field.